Come climb Sloan Peak with us. We are hitting Sloan Peak and we are taking the corkscrew route up to the top. There's two entry points, um, main entry points for this route. There's the Cougar Creek Trailhead, which involves uh, three river crossings that have in the past turned teams around if you can't find a safe place to cross. Or there's the Betel Creek Trailhead, which we opted for. And that involves some slight I wouldn't even call it bushwhacking. It's just slightly overgrown. So the trail's there. It can be difficult to navigate if you didn't have light, but it is flagged. And so in the daylight, it's not too hard to um, follow along. Yeah, so like... We have a big group with us today. We are taking some new mountaineering students who have just spent the last six months training and refining their alpine skills on this climb with us today. This is our first pit stop and lunch break of the day. We decided to make this a two day climb, so we will be camping overnight, which allows us to have a really relaxed and kind of leisurely first day approach. So we are making our way to um, the campsite where we think we want to camp somewhere between 5,300 feet and 5,800. Um, we're approaching it now. We're setting up camp. Most of us can fit in this one area um, and then me and another climber decide to go off on just the other side of the tree line and set up our camp over there just to have some more space. Here is where Chris and I will be camping for the night. This is also where our water source is. There is still a small stream that we were able to fill up and filter water and then we just had a lot of downtime so we had a fashion show <laughs> to show our wonderful gear. This is Kurt. He is showing off his <laughs> awesome rain skirt, kilt, excuse me, kilt, and his camp shoes. And then we, you know, took some photos. We got to document the trip and the memories and just hung out, made some food, had dinner together. It was a great chance to just socialize and get to know each other a little bit better and just have some fun, a nice relaxing day at camp. Oh, that was close. Okay. <laughs> that was a damn too. Me too. <laughs> yeah. On their website. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> I think most of us ended up getting into our tent about 8 p.m. and uh, called it for the night. We were planning to wake up about or leave camp about 4 a.m. Good night, Chris. Good night. <laughs> what are you alarm for? Um, let's see. We want to be up by four, yeah. I usually give myself an hour. I mean, I'll probably like lay here for 20 minutes inside my tent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, con I'm just asking if you're going to be offended if I hit my uh, alarm at 3 and then 310. No, I will um, probably be doing the same thing. So I got up, went to the bathroom, brushed my teeth. I'm not much of a breakfast eater. And then met up with the rest of the team, made sure everyone else was in line for our 4 a.m. start. Everyone did awesome. And we took off from camp. We had one of the best sunrises I've had on a climb before because Glacier Peak is that big prominence that you can see and the sun was just coming directly from behind the mountain. So the route up to the glacier was mostly snow free. There was a few snow patches, but we managed to stay on the rock up until the glacier. 
And as this is the glacier here, and as we're approaching, we're trying to figure out the best route on the glacier or, or even how to get on it safely because it is quite moated around the rock formation. So there was three options for crossing the glacier. The option in red was the traditional line. The circled area from our viewpoint looked like an open crevasse and it didn't look like there was a way to get over it. The line in purple was the secondary option, but again, from our vantage point, we couldn't quite see behind the rock to see what that route looks like. So we opted for this blue kind of meandering route which was really fun and the snow bridges all were solid for us to get to uh, the scramble portion. Here we're just getting ready to get on the glacier, roping up, getting our crampons on, taking the final, you know, quick view of Glacier Peak and the sunrise. So we got on the glacier about 6 a.m. and we reached the end of it about 7 a.m. Here we're just taking off the ropes and our crampons so that we can scramble up to the top. For most of the scramble, we're actually following a goat trail. You can see the line kind of cutting through the side of the rock there. And then other than the trail, there's a little bit of class three moves getting through the rocks. Nice work. Nice. Yeah, there's the bear hug. There's the bear hug. <laughs> good, good holds on both sides. Yeah, that's a solid bomber crack. <laughs> nice. All right. Do the deed. There you go. Hold it. Hold it. One more time. Oh. Here we go. Ah. I had actually never heard of Sloan Peak until this year but I feel like it is totally slept on. It is remote, uncrowded, and has a great variety of trail, terrain, rock, and glacier. And these views are so epic. Seeing all the mountain peaks, seeing glacier in your face. I mean, I would recommend this route to anyone who is interested in alpine climbing. <laughs> it's a video so when we were at the top we could look down on the glacier and when we were able to do that we could see that the red lined route the traditional route actually was still in um, it was completely passable so we decided that on our way down we are going to take that route instead of the kind of meandery route we took on the way up That ended up being super helpful because it was direct, it took us less time, but also we got to see more of the glacier and another perspective. From here, it's just the slog back. We are making our way back to the campsites, which you can see the tents off in the distance here. And the game plan is go back to camp, break everything down, pack up and pretty much head out. I think we ended up getting back to camp around 11.30ish and then maybe left camp between 12 and 
and got back to our cars just a little after 2 p.m. Nice work, guys! Oh, you're so cute! All right, good job, guys. I can't even feel his back. Yeah, um, get it. <laughs> just chugging. This team did so, so freaking good. I'm so proud of everyone that was on the team and I would climb with any of these guys again. It made for an epic trip.